biggest killer of monofilament is heat and friction. Last thing you want is that big whopper that you've been waiting to come along all your life. Break off because your, your guides have eaten through your line. Okay, so what we're actually gonna do is show you what happens when you're using the less expensive guides. Well, they just don't have the quality into it and they're, they're not as smooth and they're not round. And they're not, not using a um, really sort of good, hard, internal um, ceramic or smooth material. Yep. So, I mean, this demonstration is gonna show basically what heat and friction do to monofilament. Yeah, cool. So you hanging on, Mandy? I'm hanging on, mate. <laughs> so, I mean, this is 37 kilo mono too, so it's pretty strong. But I mean that's all it took. I mean you can you can see the damage, you can see the wear, it's just it's just eating through that line. Cool. Alright, so let's try these Fuji guides, mate. Cool. So now we're gonna put the same same monofilament through a quality Fuji silicon carbide guide and, and show you the difference. So the silicon carbide's a lot smoother, so there's less friction. I mean they're just super smooth, highly polished, and yeah, they dissipate heat a lot better. So all right. I mean, I'm not, I'm pulling just as hard as I was before. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you can look at that, there's no wear, it's still smooth. Yeah. You can just see the difference in choosing a quality guide. You know, yeah. There's going to be a lot less wear over time, especially when fighting fish. If you're fighting big kingfish or big snapper over a long period, you know, you can get line wear. And I mean, the silicon carbides just stop all that. So I mean, pretty impressive. But I mean, the proof was essentially in the pudding, I guess. Yeah, absolutely. Mm.